So I just finished my self-driving car experience here with BMW at Mobile World Congress and it wasn't exactly ripping around the streets of Barcelona in a, this level 5 self-driving car like I hoped. This demo is about the user experience of a self-driving car and I thought it was pretty interesting at least that we got to see how BMW really sees the smartphone in the center of that interaction. Yeah, we are about uh, to uh, experience level 5 driving, but not from a technical aspect, but from a user interaction perspective. So it's about how we imagine that we might interact with these uh, autonomous cars in the future. So our experience starts with requesting a ride, because that's certainly one of the cool features of autonomous cars, is that we don't have to walk all the way to the cars. They will come and pick us up. And therefore, we have a mobile application. Do a long press on the, on the icon. And the car opens itself. So the arrows are full, it's unlocked, and now we're ready to enter the car. Okay. I would I invite you to sit in the back. I think um, for Other side is better taking for the pictures. I was hoping we'd be going through the streets of Barcelona. <laughs> you guys, yeah. can, let's break out of this uh, demo track and, and take this car for a real spin. Well, maybe let's start with the showcase first. Okay. <laughs> first things first. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. So the car knows where we're going because we entered it before uh, in the smartphone app. We're going home. Now we need a way to tell the car that it should start it, right? Um, and we can do this with the app. Um, there's the start right button, which I pressed now, and the car starts moving. So one important aspect of, a cool aspect of uh, autonomous driving is that you can uh, make use of the time that you now have, that you don't need to steer. Um, certainly working or sleeping or maybe watching movies um, is, is something that you can do now. Um, another aspect is that you still want to be in control of the car. So we've entered the destination, the car is, is going its way, but maybe we need to um, stop in between and that might happen spontaneously, therefore we have this pause right option. We can activate and which then makes the car stop here and allows us to maybe grab a coffee somewhere and then get back into the car. We're almost at our destination. Here. Notifies us that we're here, and I think we're safe to exit the car here. We can do this with the app, and also with the touch interaction um, on the car. So I can lock the car, and it says I'll go park. So for IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson, reporting from Mobile World Congress. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more videos.